show you our little farmhouse. Shall we? Come in. So before you can enter our house, you will, you will see this beautiful patio. This is where we spend most of our time. Yun talagang bahay, we designed it so that we can spend a lot of time outside because we want to eat alfresco. And gusto rin namin na appreciate yung view ng mountains because from here, I think it has the best view of the mountains. And so, pina-extend ko talaga tong area na to. Just to give you an idea, this house used to be a garage. And then we decided to renovate it and turn it into a real house. By the way, this was designed by Jay Salvedas Reyes Goat, uh, who also designed my house. Talaga nagpahanap ako sa kanya ng poso kasi gusto ko ng parang vintage feel here na parang it, I don't want it to look like um, a new construction. I want it to feel like it's been here forever. And eto kasi, meron kaming poso dati sa labas ng bahay namin sa Tagig. So parang meron din siyang nostalgic feel na nabibigay sa amin. It reminds us of our humble beginnings and our roots. Before I show you the kitchen, I'm going to show you our little breakfast nook here. This is where we usually have our breakfast, kung kami dalawa lang ni mama, or uh, with my stepdad. And then we would talk in the morning before I go for a run. Actually, these birds came from my house pa. <laughs> before I renovated, I had a lot of uh, these little parang vintage-looking birds. And so, in a way, sustainable because um, I had a lot of things from the old design of my house that went here. Kasi alam mo si mama, ito trivia, si mama sobra niyang masinip sa gamit. If anything, baka sa kanya ko nakuha yung pagiging organized. Now, let's go to my kitchen. So this is my kitchen. You can see there's an abaca rug kasi gusto ko may pagka-rustic yung feel ng entire place. And yung theme nga pala na itong house na to is kind of like um, an American farmhouse. Nandito ang aming bar or island. Most of the time, I, I eat here with my mom and my stepdad kapag hindi kami nagsasalo-salo. Before Christmas, I spent three weeks here. So ang daming namin sinelebrate. Nagpabinyag din yung pamangkin ko. And then nag-Christmas, nag-New Year, nagdibulin yung pinsan ko. So ang daming nangyari sa kitchen na to. I also had to cook a lot of different things that I enjoyed doing. Ito bigay ng brother ko pala, the ate firma na chopping board that we turned into a tray to keep the cattle and this little plant. And then, ito pinagawa talaga namin ni Mr. Jason. The most important work you will ever do will be within the walls of your home. I believe that very, very much. We have here the stove, of course, and then stuff that my mom keeps here. She loves that. And then, um, she would hate me pag pinakita ko yung anya. Pero, iwala akong laging malinis. <laughs> she keeps all her glasses there. And then, ang cute niya, ang hilig niya sa mga maliliit na bagay like this. Inamot, yung lagyan na ng ano, wooden spoons. Itong parang chopping board that says, what is home without mother? And so we got it. It's so cute kasi gustong gusto ni mama talaga to. My mom also keeps a lot of yung mga ganyan, yung mga ceramics. Uh, meron akong parang small coffee station here. Marami rin kaming ganun dito sa bahay, yung mga sayings. Kasi gusto ko siya mukhang humble and really warm. And so parang ang dami ko yung parang old signages. Meron ditong signage. Tapos may naka ano siya ng yung pang open, yung bottle opener for beers. So that when you get a beer from the fridge, and then bago ko lumabas, dyan ka na, hindi ka na maghahanap. And then again, here, rules for a happy home. Never forget. Ito binigay ni Nina sa mama ko. Nina is my friend. Sobrang cute na chicken. Tsaka yung mga eggs laging fresh, nasa farm. When you open this door, you will see a little laundry area that we have. We also have a bathroom here. Na again, merong old signage. Now, this is our dirty kitchen. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> Dito, nakakapagluto kami ng sabay-sabay. And then, most of the time, it can be really, really crazy over here. Dito kami naglilinis ng isda. Talagang yung parang ano, yung going to war. <laughs> Hindi ganito yung itsura ko noon ng Pasko. Sobra kong arag. <laughs> we also have our parang alfresco dining, a.k.a. pansitan. <laughs> Yun ang tawag ni Mama dito. Yun tawag namin dito. Dahil dito kami nagchichismisan. Ito yung isa sa mga unang ginawa ni Mama na project. So, it didn't look like this yet. But parang ano lang, ang sarap balik-balikan. Kasi that's what's nice about having a farm. Kasi you continuously develop the property. And parang when you look back to the times when you were just starting, parang ang sarap niyang, ang sarap niyang balikan. As if parang you've achieved something. Di ba sabi nga nila, little victories. It means that you are really going forward, moving forward. Now, I'm going to show you our guest rooms. Actually, we have four guest rooms. Parang small quarters lang siya. So we have room number one, room number two, room number three, and then the other one is on the other side. But since my team is here, I won't show you their things next time. <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you my brother's house. At eto na nga po pala yung sundu. <laughs> ano, Santi? Pwede na tayo sa bahay niyo? Hmm? Hmm? So, dito naman tayo sa house ng brother ko. Hello, this is Talia and James. 
my brother and my sister. And of course, this is Santi, their baby. <laughs> my baby. We don't need to go to the So, dining and sala. Oh, oh, meron din silang kitchen sa likod. And then, nandiyan din yung ano. Huwag din ha kayo nga naman. Kasi syempre may baby. Then, the other room is Santi's playroom. Family is forever. Thank you for being here, for coming to my house. Thank you. For Thank you. House. And then beside my brother's house, dito naman tinayo ni mama yung parang parking area. Kasi syempre, pag sa farm talagang mainit. And sayang naman yung mga kotse kung hindi malalagyan ng bubong para dun sa paint and everything. So this is where we park our cars. This is our main house. It's really very little, you know, it's humble home, sinabi ko nga kanina, because we want to really just spend a lot of time outside and bond. When you enter the house, the first thing that you will see is a foyer. So this is a Persian rug na handmade that we bought. Kami dalawa ni Ms. Jaisal wanted to have like something that is handmade and something that gives the look a vintage feel. And this is a custom-made um, table made of mahogany. So we had it bleached to make it look like this, that it's like undone. And also we have an abaca basket here with a plant. And then I want the two lamps here because I want to have that American farmhouse feel and it looks so vintage here. But vintage but a little glamorous. These are Windsor chairs. I like it because it's a classic chair. So it matches the entire aesthetic of the place. Here, there is an area where we keep our pictures. So yan yung mga titas ko. This is my mom. One year old pa lang daw ako dito. So my mom must have been 20 years old. And that's me when I was one year old. <laughs> and then this is a picture of my mom and her lola, si Nanay Pustina. And ito yung pictures ni Mama nung nag-celebrate kami ng 50th birthday niya in Tagaytay. Kita niyo naman, nag-pictorial pa kami dyan. <laughs> si Madam M. <laughs> this one, pinabili sa akin ng mom ko. At first, hindi naman siya ganun ka into like turntables and all that stuff. But then, we saw this and it's from the 1970s, in fact. And so, we immediately got it. And then, we also got a lot of vinyl records. This is our photo wall. I got the frames from Pottery Barn. So this is when we went to London. That's my picture with my stepdad and my mom. And then during Sandy's um, baby shower. And then see Walter and Dita then. Also my brother during his graduation. Of course, Sandy. And then their family, James. So I also have a bar cart here. <laughs> so alam niyo na kung sino magkasalanan nito. Hindi si mama may kagagawa nito. I got this cute bar cart na merong, um, it's made of wood and leather. And of course, um, gold hardware. It's from West Elm. Again, with the abaca basket because I want to create like um, a rustic feel. This is our living room. These pillows I got from Pottery Barn. And this chair was custom made, but I like this chair very much since it's very, very comfy. I really made sure that everything that's placed in it talagang dapat very, very comfortable because of course you're in a farmhouse. Hindi naman kailangan a very stiff yung designs and everything because you are meant to just relax over here. This sofa is from Crate and Barrel. This is my favorite. Sobra niyang comfortable, di ba? Ang dami dami namin mga pillows. You can just sit here. It could be like, okay, I'm gonna get this Ottoman, then sit here, and then watch TV, watch Netflix over here, and it's the best. And then this table naman is made of mahogany again. And when you look closely, you will see na talaga minintain namin yung, ano niya, yung normal na texture niya. I didn't want them to sand it because I really want those textures to be there. And then we also have like marble because gusto namin iba-iba yung textures na nasa house. It's made of marble, it has wood here, and a gold hardware that matches the bar cart. So this is our TV area. This wall na to used to be just like a flat wall. And then I had them custom made these bricks and then I had it painted white over because I want that texture. And as you can see, we also have beams on the ceilings. The beams kasi para nag, nag, nag create siya ng drama because the beams yung nilalagay namin ng lights underneath. We got these candle holders from I think Pobao Expo. This is from Crate and Barrel. Again with the signages. And then with the birds, my fascination niya tayo interior designer kasi mga birds. Of course, since I'm into candles, we have candles all over the place. I got this from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> and you will see around the house, even in the kitchen, we have like this galvanized uh, finish na stuff. Because parang, di ba sa mga American homes, maraming ganun. So parang, gusto ko lang ng different textures, but then the colors really come together. 
And so this is our dining table that is so heavy. I think it's made of mahogany, if I'm not mistaken. This is also custom made and it has a bench that matches the table. And we also have chairs like this here. There is a vintage feel to it. And this mirror is also custom made. But it makes the room look a little bigger. It reminds me of, of um, my French door. And this one. I like the light fixtures of the farmhouses. In the kitchen, it looks kind of like this. Now I'm going to show you my room. Before that, I want you to see this hardwood. It's made of germelina. Germelina? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It says uh, made of hardwood and it's all natural. We didn't paint it so much. And I'll show you my room. Come in. Ta-da! This is my little room here at the farm. As you can see, it's small, but it's very bright. And again with the sayings, be still, my soul. Because truly, this farm na to, it really serves as my sanctuary. Whenever I'm feeling down, I just come here to feel rejuvenated and realize that I am very lucky to have a family like my family. To have a property like this, I mean, you know, we've worked so hard through the years to achieve this. And it's good to always be reminded of the things that you have, especially when you cannot have the things that you want. This bed is made of rattan. This is custom made. And down here, there is a buri rug. And over here is a mirror that I had custom made. This is made of solia. I like that it's like these products and textures. And over here there is uh, scones. This is what I'm going to do in the morning before I sleep. So it gives it that cozy, cozy feeling. So this is my television over here. And love, because we want to welcome it. And ito, this is given to me by Bulldog Group. Shout out. Thank you. It's, um, it's a painting of me. And Walter. And makikita nyo naman, when I wake up in the morning, ito yung view na nakikita ko. Our mango trees. And when it's not cloudy, I could see the mountains from here. I consider myself very lucky to wake up to this kind of view. And then I'm going to show you my bathroom. So when you enter, you will see this round mirror that I had custom made also. And sconce. And also this sink. We also had this custom made. It's made of solia again, just to match the mirror. And um, we also have machuca tiles. Meron din kaming rose gold na hardware just to keep it a little bit more glamorous since everything's so rustic already. Over here, I have a painting by Arturo that he gave me. Um, actually, it's a line drawing. My tower head is also made of rose gold hardware. And now I'm going to show you my mom's room. It's a very simple room. My mom opted for a very simple room. This is her bed. It's also custom made. Everything here is custom made except for, of course, that chair. Her favorite chair that I got for her for Christmas. This is also has become my favorite whenever I'd come here. Dito ako dumidiretso. So ang sarap kasi talagang ano. Para siya, this is not an ad, by the way. And alam nyo naman na hindi nakakalakad yung nanay ko. So ang laking ginhawa sa kanya nito because sumasaka din yung hips niya from just sitting down all day. So I think this is the best gift for her. This is their TV. This is a cute signage that says Mr. and Mrs. And a bowl here for their keys and everything. This chest is also custom made. This is uh, made by Manny Garibay. And this is from his earlier works. It's a mother and child painting. And then this is where my mom stores her bags and shoes, but she used to live in Pasig until now. She keeps her house there. So na pa rin most of her stuff. But since the pandemic, dito na sila tumira. And this is her bathroom. Uh, this is made of machuca tiles, again, just like my bathroom. And as you can see, wala silang shower enclosure because my mom can no longer walk. So meron din sila dito parang bench. And so when she showers, at least meron siyang naupuan dito. Hindi niya kailangan tumayo ng matagal kasi hindi niya kaya. And yung shower head is this height also, just to make sure that she will be able to shower ng mas comfortable. But there is also a shower head over there, parang a rain shower for my stepdad. And my mom is OC, she keeps all her stuff here. Kasi hindi masyado malaki yung area, so she doesn't have a lot of storage. So there, it's a very simple bathroom. Pero kung meron kayong PWD sa bahay, you can also get that idea. Dapat may bench nila parati kasi talagang ang laking tulong sa mom ko na may bench siya sa shower area niya. So there you have it. Thank you for being with us here at our tour. But before I end this video, of course, I want to interview the owners of the house, my mom and my stepdad, si Mary Ann at si Ronald. Walang ko kailangan natin. Sila ang dahilan kung bakit ang ganda-ganda ng Beate Firma. Hindi ko na-share sa kanila kanina yung tungkol dito sa solar energy dito sa bahay. Kasi yung bahay namin, pati yung mga guest rooms and ano, even the lights powered by solar energy. So it makes the farm very sustainable. Ano yung mga pinakamahirap na pinagdaanan nyo? Like yung kinuwento nyo yung huling bagyo, may mga bina yung mga trees. Yung mga bina yung mga trees. Siguro mga pitong puno ng mangga. Kung ba, 
alam mo ba, gusto kong umiyak every time na merong natutumba para kong aatakihin kasi ang tagal ko silang hinintay ganito lang sila ng tinanim ko tapos ganyan na silang kalaki niya tapos isa-isa natutumba alam mo ang ginawa ko, pumasok ako sa room ayoko nakikita ko may tumutumba lumabas lang ako nung naitayo na nilang mangga pero ano yung pinaka-challenging sa buhay ko? para sa akin, nung una, ang hirap kasi Manila girl ako eh. Tinapon mo ako dito. Grabe yung tinapon! <laughs> so, bigla ako nagkaroon ng malaking responsibilidad para ayusin to. Nagalak naman ako kasi tingnan mo ngayon, ang ganda Ang ganda-ganda na, ganda talaga ng pond. Pero Super. hindi ganun kadali. Kailangan yes. matyaga ka, masikap ka. Ako Uh-oh. kasi sinuwerte dahil nagkaroon ako ng doy. Tsaka may malasakit kasi siya. Uh-oh. Kaya hindi namin ito magagawa kung Kumala. wala siya. So, ang swerte din namin kasi yung mga pinagkakatiwalaan namin tao dito talagang maaasahan. Na-amaze sila man, na parang ni ruler daw yung distance sa mga trees. Uh-oh. Ang tama talagang pagdatanin is 25 Five meters apart. apart. Uh-huh. Ngayon, pagka ginawa ko naman yun, kukunti lang matatang ko, ginawa ko 15. Kasi pag magkakadikit sila, ang tendency, hahabulin nilang araw, tata sila. So kailangan? Kailangan malalawak yung pagitan para palapad siya. Kasi ang ganda ng pagkakagawa, para siya nag-farm bill. At saka dahil dyan, kasi mahilig ako sa magagandang bagay eh, kaya nagagawa ko. Diba? So itong house mo, happy ka naman. Would you say, dito ka na mag-retire? Ito talaga ang retirement place ko. Happy ako at thankful ako sa'yo. Without the other ones, wala ako na ito. For the future, ano ba yung gusto mo pang ma-achieve dito sa farm? Kasi sabi ko sa kanila, sa farming mo, diba? Ang maganda sa kanya, the work never stops. Every morning, pag nagkukati kami, pag nakaupo mm-hmm. kami dito, bigla nilang may maiisip na, ay, parang magandang magawa tayo ng ganun, or parang magandang Uh-oh. bumili tayo ng kabayo para meron tayong bagong alagaan. Ay, ang masarap dito, pag nakaupo ka, marami kang maiisip na pwedeng gawin, diba? Pa isa-isa. Oo, tapos nakikita diba? mo na lumalaki, na nakakatulad ngayon, diba? Namitas ka ng mga bunga ng mga Oo, putas ko. Oo, super yun talaga yung diba? rewarding. Yun na yung, yun na yung masarap eh. Mm-hmm. Pero may mga future projects, like siguro in the future, gusto mong gawing business yung mga mangga mo na turn it into uh, dried mangoes. Gagawin mo ba talagang business yun? Like, would you sell sa supermarkets? Ganyan? Siguro, eventually, pagka uh, maidad na kayo, pamilyado na kayo, baka para lang sa inyo yun, kanya na yung gagawa para sa amin. Uh-oh. Kasi PWD na yun. Kaya lang pinag-inary. Maybe it's not for everybody kasi nga it takes a lot of hard work. Pero siguro if you are into it, maybe invest in land, invest in getting an education about it. Baka dapat tumingin-tingin na rin kayo and I know I know it won't be easy certainly sila mama may god 9 years yung binunong nila dito tsaka talaga ang dami niyang iniyak kinuwento niya nga dati na natayin din siya ng baka yes. ng horse but just like life you have to move forward and you know learn from the things na ibabato sa iyo at nangyayari sa iyo and so ending, ang ganda-ganda ng farm namin it's because of them and the learnings that they had through the years and with the help of Doy and all the staff and everyone here so there thank you for giving us a tour thank you dahil ang ganda-ganda ng ginawa mo dito sa farm and I'm very very proud of you and you for your hard work dahil parang ano lang ang, ang sarap lang na may ganito napupunta kayo sobra sobra <laughs> sobrang kong saya sobra kong saya and sana nag-enjoy din kayo sa panonood na itong episode na to and sana we were able to inspire you and um, if you are looking to um, create a farm of your own kahit na maliit o malaki maybe we can also help you just comment down below maybe we can answer your questions and um, I hope um, you got inspired and you enjoyed um, watching us and my family and thank you for watching this video thank you for subscribing thank you um for everything and um, i hope you share this video like this video and please subscribe thank you don't forget guys life is beautiful thank you thank people, you. people. <laughs>